Hi, this is Jen Lasser with Adobe Analytics Product Management. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily use Report Builder to start learning our Analytics API. So you may or may not know, but Report Builder is a friendly UI that interacts with our Analytics API on your behalf. By stepping through the Report Builder wizard, you are crafting an API call that will ask Adobe for data, return it, and parse it into Excel. This process translates to a queue API request, a get API request, and then finally we do some parsing logic on our side to render the data in Excel as you would expect to see it. So by pulling up a debugger side by side with Report Builder, you can actually see the requests that go out to our API and find the API logic behind them that was written for you. So let's go ahead and try this out. In Report Builder, we're going to go ahead and create a request just by going through the two steps of the wizard. So I'll start with a very simple request. I'll pick a pages report for yesterday. Um, aggregated is fine. We'll skip segments for now. We'll go next. And then I'll just select visits here. I'll select a cell to import the data to. And then before I click finish, I'm going to pull up a debugger. So I'll just do a split screen here so you can see both. In the debugger, you're going to be able to see um, a bunch of requests that are going out, but we want to focus in on just the requests related to the API calls that Report Builder is making. Um, so I'm using Charles here as my debugger. You can really use any third party debugger that you'd like. And we're just going to filter the debugger down to any calls that say report dot. So back in Report Builder here, I'm going to click Finish. And as that runs, we should see two calls go out, uh, report.q. And then when the data is ready to be returned to Report Builder and parsed, we'll see a report.get request. And then the data you see renders in Report Builder. So within the queue request, on the request tab, uh, this is where you're going to find the API logic that was written for you. Now it reads left to right, which is a little hard to, to see, so you can just hit Control C or copy and paste it over to the notepad and hit Control V. From the notepad, it'll format it in a more readable format. And what you see here is everything you need to, to write your own API request. Aside from the, the small authentication logic needed at the beginning, this is exactly how you would write a request to query our API. So at the top here, you have uh, different report level settings. So we chose yesterday's data, and you can see that represented in the date from and the date to. Uh, we also selected visits, and that's our only metric, so that's our sort by here and you can see our report suite as well. Below those report settings you'll see the metrics that have been selected so we just have visits in here. Uh, elements represents the dimensions so we have a pages report top 10 and then the the request is closed off. So this is a very simple example um, but just wanted to show you very quickly how you can debug your requests and and really start breaking down the API calls made for you. So before I wrap up, I'm going to do one more example, and this one will be a little bit more complex. Um, I want to show you this because even if you already know the API, you can still use this approach to maybe uh, learn a few more advanced um, ways to, to make your queries or advanced things to include in your queries, such as classifications or calculated metrics um, or segments. So let's do one more request. We'll go ahead and add it here. So this time I'm going to pick something that has a classification so I can show you how that's represented. So I'll do last touch channel detail. We'll do campaign. Let's apply a segment this time. So maybe I want uh, just desktop customers. Let's choose a longer date range. We'll do last week. Let's break it down by day. Moving to the next screen, let's give this a second dimension. And let's do last touch channel detail. Maybe we want our top campaigns with the underlying tracking codes. 
Um, I'll even change the filters here. So instead of top 10, top 10, let's just do the top five campaigns. And for details, let's exclude anything that says unspecified. Because we don't want to see anything that doesn't have a tracking code. We'll hit OK, hit OK. And then we'll add in a couple metrics. So let's add in visits. And let's add in a calculated metric as well of visits per visitors. We'll go ahead and select our cell here. Let's start a new Charles session. And we'll go ahead and click finish. So in Charles, we'll reduce down just to the report calls that are going out. You can see we've already gotten our queue call on the request tab. We'll have our report description here. So we'll copy that, paste it over to the, the notepad. And now you can see a, a much larger request than the first simple example that we did. So st still the same structure. There's just a lot more elements included in here. Um, now we can see the segments that we had applied. Uh, at Adobe, we think of them as IDs, so you're not going to see the friendly name here. You'll just see that ID. We also chose to um, apply granularity, so you'll see date granularity by day. Down in the metrics section, we have visits like we did before, but we also have our calculated metric. And just like segments, we refer to these as IDs as well. So see that in the list? Under elements, so we chose two dimensions in the, the Report Builder Wizard. The first one was a classification of campaign on the Last Touch channel detail. And you can see that represented here. So classification of campaign on the base ID of Last Touch channel detail. And we changed the filter to top five, followed by the second dimension of Last Touch channel detail, where we applied a search for things that did not contain um, unspecified. So no matter the level of, of user that you are of our API, um, using Report Builder to learn how to craft API requests I think is applicable to all from a basic request to something a bit more advanced that leverages calculated metric segments. Um, you can really learn it all by using Report Builder, which is something that we all know and love already. If you want to learn more about our API, uh, go to the developer documentation in the description of this video. So we hope you found this video helpful and hope you take this forward and, and use Report Builder to start learning our analytics API soon.